What's up, everybody? This is SJ Ryan, and we're here for another World of Warcraft Let's Play. We are on part two with the Tauren. Uh, where we left off, we should basically be ready to do some dungeons for sure. So that's the goal today. If we're gonna try to do dungeons, and that's the main game plan. Uh, where we last left off is the Wild Main Cleansing. So basically, we gotta go to the Water Well in order to complete that one. Um, the other thing is on my title, I have, if you notice on my stream channel, rest in peace. Rest in peace to Lemmy. Uh, even though I didn't listen a lot of Motorhead, but he was mainly, mainly known from, uh, he was mainly known with the song Ace of Spades. And that song there was pretty much, uh, if you play Tony Hawk, if you play Tony Hawk Pro Skater, I think two or three, that was the main intro of the song. Uh, Motorhead also did uh, one of my favorite wrestlers at all time was Triple H, and it was like let's play the game, uh, King of Kings, and all that stuff. Enjoyed the music. It was absolutely one of my favorite to uh, listen to for a while. It's just the music. The the music had a tone where it was just you know that you were gonna pumped up, jam on, and everything for it. Every time I hear Ace of Spades, it makes me think of uh, the Tony Hawk. Pro Skater games, but also at the same time, uh, kind of what makes me go grab my own actual skateboard and go around around town, see if I can do anything. So we just picked up a quest. Um, we're going to talk to Bane Bloodhoof in Thunderbluff. So, many of you who might not know about uh, World of Warcraft, that uh, there are books about the story and the lore about all the races and all that stuff. And supposedly, uh, I was reading, I think, a book, I can't remember which one, it was a long time ago, that in Azeroth, the two oldest races was the Torn and the Night Elves. Well, Torrens, it seems like the Torrens are kind of a dying breed, uh, because hopefully we're not the cheeseburgers. That'd be unfortunate. Torn burgers, who wants a Torn burger? Like I can't type today. <laughs> my oh my, I can't type. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to this keyboard. Uh, I've used probably for about six years uh, a laptop, and I, I'm actually kind of happy to be on a computer once again. Don't get me wrong, the laptop could could easily press buttons and have no problem because it was flat surface and everything, but compared to an actual keyboard, uh, I, what I missed about that most is hearing uh, the button mashing keyboard it was, uh, on uh, the laptop. It was kind of like, the best way to compare it is like a gun. On the laptop it has a suppressor while on the computer it doesn't, so it's like you could actually hear your actions and all that stuff. 
I remember uh, getting chewed out like years ago when I used to have an actual computer back then and I was going hard on World uh, I don't think it was World of Warcraft, it was some fun mashing game. And I had uh, my older sister or my little sister come into the room and tell me, hey, knock it off, it's very late, play something else. Well, it's kind of different if your uh, computer is the only thing you got, especially when your consoles, especially if the Xbox 360 gets the ring of death, then uh, what are you going to play? Candy Crush? Angry Birds? I don't recall that being a competitive sport or a competitive video game. Speaking about that, they're making an Angry Birds movie. Alright, well, um, so am I supposed to expect we're going to see an actual Candy Crush movie? That'd be pretty unfortunate. It would be. I feel like that, uh, I feel like Shadow Crews have got a major buff. Ah, screw it, I'll hit him with, oop. Get off me! Oh, I thought my stab would actually do some damage, but it just keeps missing. It is for you. One thing I like the to know more about, I'll probably do some research, is uh, the tribes between the actual Thunder Bluff and the Grim Totem. I would like to know more about that. Because you play in the game, you didn't really know much about that kind of lore about it. It still kind of is kind of like that. You don't really know much. Um, other than you come into, like you're pretty much coming in the game and all of a sudden if you're a torn you have to first deal with bristlebacks or boar, I don't know what the people are called. And then basically I think the next time you hear about the Grim Totem is once you get to Thousand Needles. Which is now, instead of being a canyon, now it's just a, a giant lake. Which kind of doesn't make any sense about it. And I don't, I, I, I don't know whose idea was to think of, oh, let's do Cataclysm or redo so many things about it. Um, many people who who are just getting into the game may not know but in before cataclysm from basically the beginning of the game which would be called vanilla um vanilla and burning crusade is that if you go into thousand needles you can see what kind of looks supposedly like star wars episode one greetings be careful and it's like uh those speed racers i don't know what they're called. I don't know much about Star Wars, so if anybody who's going to criticize me, go right ahead. So I, I can maybe learn something new today about it. Now, this is the one thing that I wish Blizzard would fix in the game. Make the path from Thunder Bluff to Ogamar time way way reduce more sure you added a zeppelin a zeppelin or a zeppelin one of those whatever's pronounced but 
That still doesn't do anything whatsoever. Now, when I get to Ogamar, I know once I trade in, it's either decide and go Barons or or at Zara. Uh, I prefer going to the Barons. It's just more traditional way. I've always done it, always will. I've done the other way, just didn't like it. Sure, the the rocket. Was it the Rocket Roller Coaster is a nice, fun way to get you going? Um, I will be trying to do is redesigning my channel page and all that stuff. I'm going to try to custom it, customize it to make it a little bit more touched up, a little bit nice and fancier. And then just going through some old achievements I have, just so I want to see some stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm not in a guild in this realm. Uh, the realms I usually play on, I have two main realms I like to play on. Horde, Horde, it's Ilden. Uh, the reason why I'm not playing on Ilden right now is I like to start a new realm. I've always kind of want to level a character on Malganus. Um... But the main two realms I play is Ilden and Storm Rage. Storm Rage is where my alliance side is. If you're a person who's making a horde on there, you're a sad soul. Don't do it. That's not fun. It's like a ghost town. We we went and then that Ogamar there is pretty much a, a cross server, cross realm. Because Storm Rage is I think 100% alliance, or basically 99%, with the one missing are just some of the horde characters that still roam that server. <laughs> Ooh, we got Terra Ghost out here. It's like everybody is getting the, the legendary staff lately. Presence. have some of this stuff. I'm so used to uh, 
Barrage being uh, the war chief here, but I'm finally glad they changed that up by replacing it with Bulgin. Although I still feel that Karen should be war chief. Torn for war chief is what I planned. Before that part, it was it was kind of fun with everybody saying game and full war chief. I'm hoping I can do some dungeons today, just an amount of time for this session. Even though people be like, "Why aren't you playing a healer?" Because I don't want to. It's like someone saying, why aren't you playing a tank? I play a tank, but I've done it enough. I want to try something new. Oh, and that beeping in the background, uh, that's my other add-on, GTFO. Recommend that for anybody who's trying to start the game. And if anybody, if anyone wants to ask me what add-ons I'm using, feel free, I will message you which ones I use, which ones I enjoy using for sure. Um, that's, I, I will. Uh, here comes the, the long part. Depends on how many people are going to be in this beginning spot. much bad luck with just trying to get the plain striders beaks Now the other thing is I may, uh, for Reese, I might do Disenchanting and probably Jewelcraft, maybe? Uh, I don't know yet. Actually, Disenchanting and uh, Herbalism, being an Herbalist. We got two more, two more level ups, and we can actually do some uh, fun, fun stuff. Damn it. 
this always feels like the the longest, most enduring part. There's just this part alone, and then the rest of it comes to pieces, and then basically all it is from there is just a huge level dungeon grind from one to ninety. Well, it's gonna be different when the uh, uh, when the new expansion comes out, and it's gonna be dungeon grinding from level one to one hundred. I hope it is. If not, it's gonna be another one of those things where you level up basically doing the quest zones of Draenor. Don't get me wrong, Draenor is not that bad, you can easily solo it, but it's just, you, they actually did, and it's not, I don't have any problem, I am actually kind of impressed they actually did where you actually have to do almost every single quest to, to actually almost level up. Now, that's if you're not wearing heirloom gear. If you are, uh, you're pretty much done with three zones that you're questing in. And anybody who's planning to get heirloom gear, heirloom gear, I highly suggest you pick a class that that you're gonna play a lot. For example, if you're gonna be a melee character who likes melee, uh, two of the best ways to go is all plate gear or all leather. It's the best way to go, doing it that way, because then, basically, all your other class characters can use it. Now, if you want to be like me, you can go for the Shulker's Chopper. Sorry about that, I had to make sure whether my stream was uh, still recording or not, it'd be kind of a shame if it wasn't. One hard part is out of the way, you know, those plane strider beaks, and that's hard part is trying to kill some of these razor may pillagers. <laughs> Let's 
It's not hard killing them, it's just waiting for the right one that you're trying to kill. I think by the time I finish this class, I most likely will be about maybe a quarter, uh, yeah, about quarter into level 14. Uh, 
Now for this place, you need to make the, the spawn rate higher than it should be. I know a lot of people who quest this zone, they deal with a lot more of those um, issues of bumping into one another in this area. like that I'm gonna go wait in the beginning of the front and start all over again so I can finally complete this quest so it's got like about a minute or two of wasting time Oh, well, I thought I was going to be level 14 by that, but I guess not. And I am curious what this troll lock is doing.
Well, I'm now officially level 14, and basically I am one level from dungeons. I don't know if possibility I will reach dungeons today, that's my goal, but I don't know if that will. Tar. Strength. Strength and honor. What can I help you? For the whole. I feel I will reach a level, level 15, hopefully after this, some of the quests. Obra. I feel like doing this right now is kind of like a race just to kill these razor man villagers. It's just what it feels like because I don't like when people, nobody, nobody likes when other people kind of interrupt their process trying to level up or something like that. That's just how it is. I feel like it's first come first serve.
I feel like we will be level 15 by the time I turn these in. Uh, I will still do some questing as I wait for a dungeon in uh, the queue is several minutes. If you want to get a dungeon in, in the stream, I do. But if it's not in time, then I will save it for tomorrow. eight more tusks and we should be pretty much good like that six more I can pick it off on these last two, but I thought it was a surprise. Nope. Got quite a bit more to do. Two more. Either I have two more kills or one more kill. We are almost done, we gotta do is knock out one pillager and then basically deliver him. We should be by that time level 15. I'm looking forward to the dungeon grind, because that'll just be the fun part to begin. Even though I kind of make, don't make it sound like it's fun, but hey, gotta do something. I just gotta wait for a pillager. That's the worst part, is trying to find one. Because you, you end up doing this, you kind of like exterminating all of them. And then that's you gotta wait probably about two, three minutes maybe. Hopefully it's just a minute. proper way to drag the prisoner. take a look at those in a second. We can now officially queue ourselves up for a random dungeon. The 
and see how this works. What is Q? What is the Q time? Ten minutes. Oof. This just might be enough. Just a bit one in. But let's check our talents. Desperate prayer heals the caster for. Okay, well, I'm not really a healer. Your shadow blurs into darkness, leaving your true form behind. As a shadow, you are stealth, but remain in combat. Unless six seconds or until your true form is hit by three direct hits. When an attack brings you below 30 health, you gain absorb shield equal to 15% of your max health for 20 seconds. Cannot occur more than once every minute and a half. Well, this would be more kind of special for DPS, uh, not DPS for PvP. I feel like sp um, spectral disguise would be a better choice. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> that is sweet. Speak, friend. Be safe. No, we don't get glyphs yet. I think level 30. I think level 30 is when we get our first glyph or something like that.
I didn't know that had purple wings. That actually looks kind of cool. I thought that was just a ground mount, but I guess not. be close to level 16 once we get to the barons. I mean, uh, the crossroads. I'll be enjoying that, for sure. So it might not possibly, we might not be able to pull in a dungeon today. So I will probably have to be cutting the stream a little bit early or maybe on time. And this is what happens when you're not a, uh, a tank or healer spec. That's what DPS time is kind of at, unfortunately. So I will be questing more in uh, and honor for the horde. I will be questing more as a DPS than any other time. Rooktar, strength. Now what doesn't make sense is you don't really see much of the Burning Blade. You see more of that when uh, they were in uh, Duratar. If you're basically leveling a Orc or a Troll. I saw more of those in Duratar than anywhere else. So I don't know why they would have any association with the Barons whatsoever. You know what I need to do is find an add-on that pretty much cleans out your whole entire inventory. What brings you here? May the eternal sun shine upon you. That would be kind of a nice thing to do is uh, to remove 
all the unnecessary junk out of inventory or possibly having a setting where you don't have to pick up all all that garbage Drive me crazy the fact that a dungeon queue is almost 20 minutes. But the time for those start to reduce even more as higher level you get. They really do. Um, the only time they reprogress through is like everybody pretty much is done leveling up some of their characters. Um, Quite a bit of people are pretty much done leveling up their characters during early on in the week, and then uh, they do more of their alternate characters. That's if they're major raiders or uh, PvP players like Arena and all that. I don't have a person that I'll play a character of mine if he's got uh, high level at a certain spot, then I'll definitely. For sure, be level on that character instead. I try to change it up every day. So, this is not the only character I, I basically play. I play more than that. I play pretty much um, way a bit, a little bit more. All I know is I am lagging. I don't know why I'm lagging, but uh, it could be the fact that we had a snowstorm. Now, people have asked me, how's a fast way to uh, level up when you're playing a new, a new side or a new faction? Um, well, it's honestly, it's kind of like a learning experience. You, you gotta figure out, okay, what quest is closest to you, and then what quest is not, and it just depends, really. Then once you've finally done like one or two times leveling up the character's race or whatever with multiple ones, then you start to feel a rhythm of what kind of characters of like the quests that you pick up at what spots you should be at before you go to them. Because like once I turn these ones in, that there'll be another one that comes up and it's gonna take me directly over to this location so it would have been silly of me going from here to do this and then come back and then that's gonna go back there it would be I like to get a dungeon in I'd really like to but I have a feeling that might not be the case Actually, I'm gonna. Uh, I, I didn't realize this, but I'm actually gonna call it a day on the priest. Uh, thank you for all for watching. There'll be an episode three tomorrow for sure. I'm gonna be streaming every day, hopefully. Um, the goal is to get this guy to level 100 and get him ready for PvP or LFRs or anything. And I will see you guys tomorrow.